Extensions Library. So we've talked about the main programming area of Robot C right now, but we haven't really talked about what that big left bar section is. And the big left bar section is the functions library. So basically lists all of the different commands that are available. So in normal Robot C, you might have 100 or 200 commands listed there. But in natural language, we try and reduce that down to as small of an amount as possible. So what we can do is you can then take these different commands and use them as a nice little reference. And also for all of the commands, you'll be able to hover your mouse over that command and get what's called a tooltip or like a little brief bit of information that explains what that command does and what the different parameters are. So let's go ahead and take a look inside of Robot C. And now here what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of my forward command that I had. And now I can go over to my functions library and I'm going to expand natural language. And here we've got a bunch of different categories. We've got setup, motor commands, behaviors, timing, simple movements. We're going to use forward, so that's under the simple movements category here. And you can see that we've got some different commands available, which we're going to learn about. Backwards, forwards, turn left, and turn right. So basic things we would need to navigate our robot around. So if I take my mouse and I hover over forward, you're going to see that I get that nice little tooltip that explains what forward is and what it's doing. Um, and if it goes away, you can just hover back over it. It will only stay up for maybe five or 10 seconds. So this is a nice reference because now you can say, oh, forward, and here are the different parameters that I need. The other really cool thing that you can do with the functions library as well is you can actually click and drag into your program and plop down and ta-da, we now have a forward command inside of our program. So now under quantity, you can double click on the word quantity and now I can just type in 4.7. Under unit types, I might want to say seconds and under speed, I could then say 50. Now, because there are also defaults for some of these parameters, if we wanted to just move 4.7 rotations, we could just simply delete some of those additional parameters and the defaults would take over. So the rotate, default of rotations and also a 50% speed. But you can always, you know, if, if you prefer, you can always put in rotations and 50 if, if it's a better reminder to you instead of always relying on the default values. So what's nice is that using this, you can actually kind of drag and drop and build your program using the functions library. And you've kind of got your own little quick reference available uh, as well in order to help you go through and get your robot moving. So let's go ahead and hop back to the slides. Any questions about the functions library right now?